Hello everyone. So this time we briefly uh, review all the basic integration rules and then uh, discuss several uh, examples here. So as you see this table on the left hand side it shows the derivative and the right hand side it shows that um, integration. So if you do uh, derivative constant become zero. Now derivative zero become constant here. And now derivative just x then become one, so over k. Now derivative k means k is plus c. So like that, it, it is showing actually upper direction here. Okay. So uh, so far from the last video, we cover until here power rule, and it was a constant rule here. Now look at the simple um, trigonometric functions. Sine derivative sine become cosine, then integrate cosine become sine derivative cosine become negative sine therefore integrate sine become negative cosine and derivative tangent secant square x derivative uh, integrate secant secant x become tangent x derivative secant x become secant x tangent x so integrate secant x tangent x become secant x so cotangent derivative cotangent x negative cosecant square x. So integrate cosecant square x become negative cotangent x. So like this. So you need to um, memorize so all these rules so that you know whenever any question is given to you, then it can be a little easier. And then we can also have this rule, you know, derivative integrate the same basically. So Derivative with the ex, ex become e to the x, Integ integrate e to the x also become e to the x. But different thing is just put plus c. So this one you will learn more detail on the calculus two class. So I'm not gonna cover that. But you you need to know this one. So derivative ln x become one of x, but integrate one of x become ln absolute x because um. Derivative, I mean, in Laurent function cannot have negative x value. That's the reason. Okay, so that's all the basic integration rules, and then let's talk about some examples. So let's think about those four questions first. So integrate one over x cubed dx. So this one case, we can rewrite integrate x negative three dx, right? Therefore, we can utilize the power rule. So it becomes x negative 3 plus 1. So negative 2 over negative 2 plus c, which means 1 over uh, 2 negative 2x squared plus c. That will be the answer for this problem. Now, this problem case, uh, you can rewrite that x integrate x to the 1 over 2 power dx therefore this becomes x 1 over 2 plus 1 so become 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c therefore the answer become 2x 3 over 2 power over 3 plus c okay now this one so 2 is constant, so you can bring out outside anyway. So this will become 2 integrate sine x dx. So what was the integrate sine x? Yes, negative cosine x. So this will become negative, negative 2 cosine x plus c. Okay, now this one. So, of course, we can write 3 integrate x negative 1 dx. So, if you use power rule here, then it become very interesting, like uh, 3 times x 0 over 0. As you know, 0, we cannot write the denominator. So, which means something wrong here, right? So, unfortunately, we cannot utilize power rule for this problem. But we know that integrate 1 over x d 
dx becomes ln epsilon x plus c, right? Therefore, this become 3 integrate 1 over x dx, therefore, 3 ln epsilon x plus c. That will be the answer for this problem. So, next question is integrate x plus 1 over root 2x dx. Okay, so this one case, um, maybe the calculus 2 class, you may learn different uh, rules, but this time, uh, we only have the basic integration rule. So, what I want to do, I want to just um, separate these two uh, fraction. Then this become integrate x over root to x dx plus integrate 1 over root to x dx. Okay. Then now I switch to the rational power form and then we can simplify the degree here. So this becomes uh, integrate I can say x this is 1 this is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 power dx plus integrate x to the negative 1 over 2 dx make sense to you so if you don't get how I got 1 over 2 here so this is 1 power and the root to x means root to x means x to the 1 over 2 power so 1 minus 1 over 2 then become 1 over 2 here. Okay, then we can use power rule. So this become uh, x 1 over 2 plus 1 become 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus x negative half plus 1 become 1 over 2 over 1 over 2. Don't forget plus c. Okay, therefore this answer becomes 2x 3 over 2 over 3 plus 2x 1 over 2 plus c. That will be the answer for this problem. Okay, so let's continue one more question. So right here. So integrate sine x over cosine square x dx. Okay, so this one also we can simplify and then keep on doing it. Then we can rewrite this, integrate sine x over cosine x times cosine x dx, right? Okay, then now just to separate this and this, then this becomes integrate tangent x and this become 1 over cosine so secant x dx so do you remember what was the derivative if you derive something trigonometric function then come out tangent x and secant x yeah there was secant x here so you know even though it looks very complicated but this answer becomes secant x plus c Okay?